Okay, guys. I've had this on my mind a long time. So, I'm not going to go directly to the Bible verses, but it's said in the Bible, for, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, principalities, rulers of darkness on the earth, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, I want to talk about the Antichrist. In there somewhere, it also says he is now, he was, no, he was, he is now, and he is yet to come. Okay? And in Revelation, it also says that the beast and the false prophet are in hell. So, what I'm saying is, is that this Antichrist, this beast, is yet to come. And Revelation also talks about a key. He is given the key. Okay? I believe that's a key to hell. Okay? And playing with these frequencies and opening portals, I believe that's dangerous. Because the Indians talk about that and about the star people. And that's who taught them that. And it even, I seen one the other day that was talking about the seven sisters. Well, uh, Solomon interrogates seven sisters who are demonic in the Bible. Yeah. And makes them build the temple. He figures out the weaknesses. He's given a ring by, by the archangel Michael. Okay. Um, so I want to, I'm trying to say this mark in the forehead or this mark in the hand could be a spiritual thing. I know that's heavy. I'm not saying that I'm right. And so, when the key is given and it's unlocked, okay, they're going to send out of the bottomless pit out of hell, okay? But, I mean, I like, I've heard hell described as like, like you just burn continually, so they will have a body. But I've also thought about this AI thing, and how the AI thing, like the beast could be like, Some kind of AI deal. The the Bible even says A with a little I. Okay? And I think that might be a place. But it also, I mean, the Bible's very specific and very literal. But it's also very metaphorical. You know? And it teach it, it has so many different ways to teach, guys. So 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 many. So much to learn. I have so much to learn. Uh, my advice to you would be never be cocky and be like, I'm wise. Or uh, call anybody else a fool or foolish. And if you do, you recant those words and ask the Lord to forgive you right then and there. But I want to run, to that, run that by you because of the spiritual warfare that has been on in the Bible for ages. Ages, you know? 
pretty much since the beginning of time, since the fall, uh, or since the temptation in the garden, you know? That's when the war first started. Anyway, I love you guys. God bless you. May Jesus pass by you like he did me. And boy, I'm going to tell you something. When he speaks to your heart, you are not. You're not going to doubt. You're going to be like, What? What? Jesus is real? That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you, Lord, for giving me that testimony to be able to share with others, Lord. Uh, I love you with all my heart, mind, and soul, Lord. And I pray against the powers, principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places, Lord. And we pray that they would be bound in the name of Jesus. And that there would be a rising and an upcoming and a fight. And that these pedophiles would be locked up and put into cages and or be hung in the square, or be done like they says in the Bible, Lord, that they were to have a millstone hung around their neck and thrown into the ocean. Lord, if I got that wrong right there, forgive me, but I know it says that part about a millstone uh, being thrown around their neck. and thrown. I'm pretty much, but anyway, in Jesus' name we ask these things. Glory, glory, hallelujah. We praise you, our King of kings our lord of lords without you there be no other way to heaven i pray the precious blood of jesus amen love y'all can't wait to hear some of your testimonies please put them in the comments like and follow so i can start doing lives guys i want to start doing lives so bad you know, I'm trying to make a career out of this. And I'm trying to follow what the Lord wants me to do with my life. You know? There's nothing better than that. There's nothing more fulfilling than following the Lord and trying to do what He wants you to do. Okay? Once you got that purpose. And if you got that purpose, man, please submit. And I know, hey, Submitting is hard, boy. I'm a kicker and I'm a fighter. Okay, <laughs> like he says, why you saw kick? Uh, why why do you saw kick against the pricks? You know, Saul was a kicker and a fighter before he come become Paul. You know, he hunted the other Christians and killed them. Anyway, love y'all. Y'all have a good night, and I hope you enjoy this very much.